I mean, it's not Paso de la Stelvio or anything, but it'll do. Talking about Stelvios, let's talk about the Moto Guzzi Stelvio. I had the pleasure to try out for a week now. Today it's time to bring this baby back. I'm actually rushing right now because it's 4 p.m. and I have to be at Moto Guzzi before 5 and it's an hour away. We're gonna go over it quickly. Like the name already suggests, this is an adventure bike or an adventure crisscross bike. It's a very good looking bike. It has a beautiful headlight display, TFT dashboard, and also I really enjoy the color scheme of this motorcycle. How did it treat me this past week? First things first, this is quite higher off of the ground. It's not as big as an Africa Twin or a BMW GS, but it is quite high up. I'm one meter 70 five centimeters I can just about reach the ground with my tiptoes which can lead to some awkward situations such as right now I'm in a sand path it's quite an easy for me to move it around because it's just a little bit higher for me that said once you're on the bike and you ride off you of course have no idea of the height of it it's very fun to ride then this motorcycle is equipped with a quick shifter, an up shifter, but also a blipper, a down shifter, and it has a cruise control standard on there. And next to that, it also has an adjustable windscreen. The windscreen up is especially great for if you're riding on the highway, it just takes away a little bit of that wind and it makes it a little bit more comfortable for you. You can adjust the height of the windscreen even at 100 kilometers an hour. So it's pretty sturdy. Cruise control also worked pretty Pretty good it's a little bit of a hassle to figure it out at first you have to push it all the way to the side to turn it on and then you have to push it to the side again to set it once you have cancelled it quickly by tapping the brake the cruise control light in the display will keep blinking which i thought could be a little bit irritating at first because it's continuously it's a light in your display that's flickering and you get distracted by it, but maybe that's just my ADHD brain. So <laughs> usually I didn't use the cruise control all that much. Then you also have the quick shifter, the up and down shifter, which worked fine as well. It wasn't spectacular, not spectacular smooth, but I'm used to quick shifters from Japanese brands. So if you compare it to quick shifters from Kawasaki or something like that, you really feel that this one is way choppier than that. Blipper, very nice that it has a blipper, works pretty fine. It's a nice extra on there. Quick shifter and blipper, by the way, are options. In previous years, I have tried the Moto Guzzi V100 Mandela which is a smaller variant of this. They share the same engine and I really enjoy that engine. It has character. I really enjoy motorcycles that have their own character, which is funny coming from someone who rides a Honda herself. The most uncharacteristic engines out there. This one is the Slim V2 from Moto Guzzi. It's quite new. They released it in, I believe, 2021. Then this motorcycle has Brembo brakes on the front and on the back. The brakes are working very well. I don't know if that has anything to do because it's Brembo, but yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that. The dashboard, it's TFT, and you can switch between all different modes on there. Road, sport, tour, rain, off-road. I have mostly used the road and the sport options. It has a nice clear overview of all the things you have on here. It's really easy to adjust. If you scroll through the menu on the display, it gives some nice information and the MGCT, which is the Moto Guzzi Traction Control, which you can adjust on sport and off-road. It's automatically on one, which is the lowest setting. It gives you actually a little warning sign when it goes into that one. When should you get this motorcycle? This motorcycle is mostly intended for nice touring, intended for rides over the Stelvio Pass, for example. If you're ever planning and you do a lot of motorcycle vacations or you tour a lot. It could be very great for commuting to work. You can easily ride hundreds of kilometers on this without getting a sore bum. I would advise this one to people that check all those boxes. So yeah, in a quick overview, one th big thing that I really like about this motorcycle is the character it has in the engine and you really feel it when you step onto it, take it for a ride. It's just really fun. 
and uh, it gets you places as well. I would advise trying this motorcycle for yourself if you're in the market for a new motorcycle. Uh, go to your Moto Guzzi dealer and see if they have a demo available for you. Let me know in the comments what you think of it and also of the looks. I love that a brand finally comes out with something other than black, blue or red. So yeah, that's my thoughts. Let me know yours and I'll see you next time. Ride safe, love you, bye. Hello, Guido. <laughs> Which are like the most uncharged characteristic characteristic I can't say that word.